Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Mark. I would like to tell you a bit about uh, what Osteopro is doing. Um, Osteopro is in the uh, regenerative uh, medicine space. Uh, we specialize in tissue regeneration. We harness the body's own natural regeneration abilities. We are the world's first company to actually the commercialize and develop 3D printed bioresorbable implants. As I said, we are in the uh, regenerative med tech uh, space. Um, it is a very exciting space. Um, it's a new era of healthcare, uh, the future of medicine. Our breakthrough regenerative technology is underpinned by our proprietary 3D printed bioresorbable implants. Now, what is bioresorbable? If you've got a gap of, uh, you know, in your body, you, know, you miss some bone because of uh, bone cancer or an accident, you put in our implants, it dissolves harmlessly over time, right? The implant will disappear. It's like MMs, right? Melts in your mouth, not in your hair. Our implants melt in your body. So that's bioresorbable. It doesn't stay in the body. It's not a metal or plastic. It's harmless. The next key thing is that our products are biomimetic. Now that's very important and that's part of our IP. We biomimic the tissue that we are trying to regenerate. So in the case of bones, we 3D print a structure that has a microporous structure just like bone. So when you put our implants in the body where there is a gap, it creates the perfect environment for your own body's regenerative ability to grow bone over and through the implant. And while that happens, the uh, implant dissolves. All right? So over time, all you have left is your own healthy bone. No metals, no plastics, no bone from another body part, your own bone. So you're effectively resetting the clock to what it was. So to us, that's a superior outcome in terms of repairing your bone. In terms of um, evolution of um, surgical implants, a little bit of history. Before the 1950s, there were no such things as implants. If you broke your bone, good luck. Put a cast, tie it up together, fingers crossed, your bone hopefully regrows. In the 1950s, you'll be surprised, came artificial permanent implants, your titaniums, metals, plastics. So that's 1950s technology. And then now, you've got our regenerative implants, where you put it in, it helps your body regrow the tissue, and then the implants disappear. Our implants are proprietary, right? We've got IPs protecting all the 3D printing of designs and things like that. We have multiple applications. We, we can regrow bones head to toe, We've got bones the whole body, and it is life-changing. It is life-changing because a lot of people do not know. When you do a uh, use implants, permanent implants, metals, plastics, you have a up to 33% risk of infections over a 10-year period. One in three chance of going back during the surgery or again. If you use bone grafts, that's safer, but that still gives you an up to 19% risk, so one in five chance. If you use our product, and then negligible 0.01. So this gives you a, you know, do it once properly, get a better quality of life. And because you go in once, you actually reduce um, your overall healthcare costs. And that underpins the major benefit of our technology on the healthcare ecosystem. In the US, you know, they have studied preventable readmission, which means doing the surgery twice or three times. And it's does a huge strain on the healthcare system. They estimated if you save 20% of readmissions, preventable readmissions, you save 15 US billion dollars. That's a lot of money. So we believe that with our implants, 0.01% risk of reinfection and uh, complications, we would help in reducing the healthcare strain. Our technology is validated, right? We have tier one approvals already. US FDA, Europe, uh, Europe CE Mark, Australia's TGA and Singapore's HSA and more. We have done 80,000 successful cases. We are not doing 10 and celebrating, announcing, yeah, we did our 11 patients, we did 80,000. We have products, we have started commercialization. Uh, we are selling in every continent, um, 25 country. And obviously we've got a lot of IP protecting our technology. We 3D print our products, so you've got all these different shapes and sizes, standard stuff. These three shapes sort of handle 90% of the surgeries that's required. And for the special 10%, because we 3D print, we are able to print customizable implants 
any shapes you like. Half a rib cage, a skull, half a jawbone, no problems. Like I said, we have application head to toe. You know, we can handle um, neurosurgery, dental, aesthetics, long uh, upper body, lower body, the entire body. We have done 80,000 cases and we've done a lot of standard mundane, you know, bone re regeneration stuff. But we have our fair share of world's first surgeries and life-changing surgeries as well. The first case I'm going to highlight is, uh, is uh, Ruben. His other option besides using our technology is amputation. So we actually save a bloke from losing his leg. And what's amazing, as you see in this video, is that uh, we help him grow a 36 cm shin bone. That's the world's longest bone we grown. Doctors are happy if a 1, 2 cm bone we grow. We did 36. And it's shin. So you walk and run it. It's a load bearing bone. Um, video, please. was the first patient to undergo the procedure after contracting a bacterial infection in his leg. It's, it's eaten through the entire bone pretty much. Um, we're going to have to probably amputate it. Now nearly four years on, his tibia in his leg has regrown. The bone's really strong. Um, I can't hurt it now. It's like solid. I walk around on it. I, you know, I do daily things on it. And that is still the biggest bone for the chest that's ever been successfully reconstructed in the world. The second patient, Asha Morris, she's a cancer patient. So to be honest, when we started doing this case, we got a bit worried because we use the bodies on regenerative abilities and a person undergoing cancer, having chemo and radiotherapy, what's going to happen with their uh, regenerative abilities? And thankfully, she managed to regrow a 15 cm shin bone. And as you will see in this uh, news article, she actually surprised doctors with a very swift recovery. Video, please second patient in the world to have a 3D printed implant in her leg to help regrow her own bone. The scaffold for Asher's surgery was printed by Australian Singaporean company Osteopore. She was able to stand and even navigate stairs weeks before it was expected. I want to pursue medicine and I know that. The third patient is, uh, we talk about permanent implants and all the risks, right? So Brody had a, uh, a terrible accident in Vietnam, crushed skull put in a permanent implant, had a life-threatening infection. So we had to, he used our implant, obviously he's having a new lease of life and uh, taking part in uh, swimming competitions. The 28-year-old from Cannon Hill has 20% vision, one leg, a crushed skull. He still thinks he's lucky, despite the accident in Vietnam, which should have killed him. Initially, he'd been given a different implant, which had been the source of a life-threatening infection. With my new skull, it, I have actual bone regrowing in there. I don't have to wear my helmet all the time anymore, which is very nice. Brody Ellis racing after regrowing his own skull. Now for this next, pa look, we have a lot of patients. We just shortened it to four because, you know, it's too many. John had uh, cancer again uh, as well, and he used now bone graft. He put it on his jaw. He had to replace half his mandible, half his jaw, and the bone graft got absorbed by the body, and he used our implants, and he has now a, a new lease of life, a better quality of life. When John Manwaring lost a jawbone to cancer two years ago, he never expected to become part of a world-first medical marvel. 58-year-old originally had the jawbone rebuilt with bone from his leg, but that disintegrated under further cancer treatment. It's now coming up to nearly a year since he received a second implant, 3D printed by Singapore-based company Osteopore. I can now walk in the shops without really staring at me. <laughs> So we have other videos, you know, in Singapore and Europe, you know, we built half a rib cage, you know, we placed a whole skull, we have tons of that and happy to share links with you if you are interested. So really, what we are trying to do is to be the standard of care as far as tissue regeneration is concerned. It boggles us that, you know, a lot of people are still relying on technology from the 1950s, permanent implants. You know, why use a typewriter if you use a computer? Why use, you know, VHS cassettes if you could use Netflix? You know, so it, it, it bothers us. Right, so I think we need to put our regenerative implants out there. And we think, given time, right, and I actually mentioned, medtech, biotech, needs time, we can be a very valuable 
regenerative medtech company. I think we got the technology and it works. And what keeps me and my team working seven days a week is the impact that we know we're having. We make things better for, for our patients. They, they do it once, better quality of life, low healthcare costs. Now, this is a, just a quick footprint uh, snapshot of, you know, we've got a lot of approvals everywhere. Uh, we are doing sales in every country, so, you know, over time, adoption will grow. This is uh, our, uh, we've got shareholders, so we always show this, revenues, revenues, and revenues. We have been listed for three and a half years. Um, you know, a wonderful time to be listed and trying to commercialize the company. Um, you heard it 10 times, 100 times, COVID, Ukraine war, Silicon Valley Bank, uh, you know, crypto crashing. We will not increase interest rates, and then interest rates goes up every month. But you can see, generally speaking, we do grow quarter on quarter organically, short of COVID, short of certain uh, European uh, regulatory uh, transition. What's really ironic, uh, I want to share, is that we got listed in at the at end of 2019, and uh, our revenues for the entire year in 2019 was 411,000. Last quarter that we just reported, April to June, we did 587,000. So 411 for a year, for almost 590 for three months. We, we had a market cap of above 100 million in 2019. We are now 10% of that, and, and that, that's, that bothers us. You know, we are a much better company now. We had all that video since that time elapsed, so I think it's a huge you know, valuation arbitrage we are looking at at this moment. What's our focus of 2024? We're going to keep growing revenues organically. That's our job, right? You see, we can grow quarter on quarter in a normal situation. We will grow or, uh, inorganically through acquisitions M&A. And because we are living in Europe and the US, we will, do a, we will go into China. We will focus on cranial deaths. Our, that's our core. Uh, we've got good traction with major US hospitals. So fingers crossed, we'll get more numbers there. Aesthetics is a high discretionary spending business, very exciting. We've got a lot of traction in South Korea, which is the aesthetic capital of the world. If you know Koreans, every pretty girl you see, they don't look naturally like that. I think their noses, half of them come from us, so you know. Dental, I know, we know many people with dental work done, high volume business, so we are chasing that as well. So we, we're trying to be smart in what applications we chase for. M&A, we just announced our first acquisition in March. We acquired our top distributor. Distributors are our turnkey solution. We sell a dollar to distributor. We make 70% margin on that, 70. And distributor sells for three, four bucks. Now we got access to that three, four bucks. So it's a revenue and earnings accreditive acquisition. And obviously we get a dynamite sales team that knows, knows how to sell our products. China. We've got the China strategy and we're gonna you check our announcements, right? Don't, don't just take my word for it. We are, we are going to China in a systematic way and you'll see us executing that. Blue sky, we're not just all bones. We're actually working hard to, to chase after the holy goal of tissue regeneration. We're gonna speed up tissue regeneration. So what takes 12 months could be six. What you don't know is we can grow tendons and cartilage, soft tissues, right? And that's head to toe, sports injuries, knee injuries, ACL, H, H, HTO, we could do all that, tendons. And we could obviously fix animals, right? Animals, dogs, cats, race horses, people fit, treat their love, uh, you know, pets better than their loved ones. Don't take my word for it, check all our announcements. We have tons of announcements showing that we're doing all the works with national agencies, science agencies, universities to speed up tissue regeneration. And uh, we got lots of grants to support that sooner rather than later. So why Osteopro? I think in a regenerative med tech space, we are highly de-risked. You know, we've got the technology, you've seen the world's first videos, good pedigree, results that works, regulatory approvals, huge opportunities globally, and we've got blue sky. So I thank you for listening to my prezzo. Um, you know, I've got a booth outside, come over, ask us questions, tell me if you're missing some bones, we'll fix you up. Thank you very much.